Blood pressure medications play a crucial role in managing high blood pressure or hypertension, a condition also known as the silent killer. Now, do not let this nickname scare you. It is called the silent killer because it sneaks up without symptoms and if left untreated can cause serious health issues like heart disease and stroke. But the good news is, with the right medication and a few lifestyle changes, you can manage high blood pressure effectively. Here's the thing, there are several blood pressure medications, ranging from diuretics, which are like the cleanup crew, helping your body get rid of extra salt and water, to beta blockers and AC inhibitors, which relax blood vessels and reduce the workload of your heart. But keep this in mind, the best medication for you depends on your unique health situation. That means your doctor may choose one medication over the other based on your specific needs and medical history. However, it's your responsibility and super important for you to understand your medications and what possible side effects they can bring to your body. In this video, we are going to focus on blood pressure medications that are often recommended as the first treatment choice because of their safety and effectiveness. So let's slam this together and beat high blood pressure one beat at a time. Generosity the family here, welcome and please like and subscribe to the channel. Number one, angiotensin II receptor blockers, commonly known as ARBs. Now, this group includes well-known medications such as Ibasatan, Losatan, Olmesatan, and Valsatan. So you may be wondering, what makes these medications so special? Well, ARBs work by blocking the action of angiotensin II, which is a natural substance in our bodies that narrows blood vessels. By stopping this action, ARBs allow blood vessels to relax and widen, which lowers blood pressure and improves blood and oxygen flow to your heart. This is super important because it reduces the stress on your heart and helps prevent serious problems like strokes and heart attacks. Not only that, but ARBs also have the power to protect the kidneys especially in individuals with both high blood pressure and diabetes. Now, let's talk about the side effects. Unlike other blood pressure medications, ARBs usually have only mild side effects, including dizziness, headaches, and sometimes drowsiness. And this makes ARBs a great option for many people, especially for those who have experienced side effects like a dry cough from other blood pressure medications called AC inhibitors such as lisinopril. Number two, angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors or AC inhibitors. You may have heard of medications like benazapril, lisinopril, and enalapril just to name a few. These are AC inhibitors and are widely used for high blood pressure chronic kidney disease, and heart failure. So how do these pills work their magic? Well, AC inhibitors target a specific enzyme in our renin angiotensin system. This system is like the traffic controller that regulates our blood pressure and fluid balance. By doing this, they help relax your blood vessels, making it easier for your heart to pump blood and in turn lower your blood pressure. Now, it's important to know that AC inhibitors are very similar to ARBs and should not be used together. You see, they are like cousins in the world of medicine, and they both target the same pathway to lower blood pressure. Now, one of the reasons why AC inhibitors are so popular is because they are usually safe, effective, and most people tolerate them very well. But remember, as with all medications, they are not perfect. Some common side effects of AC inhibitors include a dry cough, increased blood potassium levels, hypotension, and feeling tired. Number 3. Thiazide diuretics 
Two well-known examples of thiazide diuretics are hydrochlorothiazide and clothalidone. These medications are sometimes called water pills and are a cornerstone in treating blood pressure and reducing fluid irritation, also known as edema. Quite simply, they work by helping your kidneys get rid of excess salt and water. This process reduces the volume of the blood that needs to circulate through your blood vessels, effectively lowering blood pressure. And guess what? Both hydrochlorothiazide and clothalidone are usually safe and effective, and most people take them without any issues. But keep this in mind, they can cause side effects such as dizziness, dehydration, being sensitive to sunlight, and electrolyte imbalances. So it's important to monitor your electrolytes including potassium, calcium, and magnesium, especially if you are taking higher doses. And there you have it. Remember, knowledge is the key that unlocks the doors to a healthier and happier you. Thanks for watching.